My name's Trace. I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do and some tools and then some inspiration of what you might like to do. That's me. Um, so first I'm going to show you my book that's just come out, Landing with Wings. So I make graphic novels for all ages. And this story is about this young girl, Mary, and her friend Wings, and they're nature lovers, much like myself. And Mary also loves to make uh, nature journals, just like I do. And so here they are, being inspired by what's around them. So I'll just show you a few of my nature journals. This one was done at one of my most favourite places and I really like mixing up the words with the pictures and, and it really helps me remember the place when I do all that detail. I find it really relaxing. I love looking at things close up as well and seeing the pattern in them and often I'll draw them bigger than they are or at least the same size and write something nice about them. Some pictures like this one, they're a memory of something that I just did. So I was on a walk and we went over these hills down here and then we paddled across the lake to where we were heading. And it just having all that detail, it just really reminds me of that place and I love that. This is one of my most treasured possessions. It's made with a soy milk container and it's got a little latch on it and it's actually my journals from when I was about uh, 20 something traveling in India. So it's just probably my favorite page in the book. It's being on the train, looking out the window and all the passengers. You can see the, the difference. They're awake and then they're getting tired. So I'll just show you some of the tools that I use. Um, I've got here... The first thing I would do is I'd find something and I'm drawing. I'm just going to give a little demo. So I've just chosen this courier from my garden. And I, I've chosen this because I like seeing the different phases within the one plant. So I'll just give a really quick example just so you can see the use of my tools. So I'm using here a a pencil that um, I don't I can just keep filling the leads. I don't need to keep buying pencils, I just buy the leads. And so I did a really rough outline which you may or may not be able to see. And then I'm using a fountain pen. It's a Twisby Go and I'll show you in one without the ink in it. What I love about this is it's so quick and easy to fill up like that to fill up with ink and I use a waterproof ink and you'll see why in a minute. So this one's full of ink and I, I'm just going to be really quick with this just to show you what the tool's like. I'm just drawing some of those petals on this one. And I'm just drawing it really loosely and roughly just to get an idea. And I find that when I draw things, I do start to learn them and remember them and find out things about them. Actually, that's a much rounder <laughs> leaf. And then after that, when the ink is dry, I would use my rubber to rub out the ink. Be lucky and already dry. I'm using a really nice watercolour paper here. Whoop, not quite dry. You see what happens when it's not quite dry? So it was actually good to show you that so you know. I'm working quickly for, for your film. 
So then I've got my lovely little traveling watercolor set. And you can see I've got spots where I mix the colors. I really, really love trying to match colors. I just find it really relaxing. And it, it sort of gets me into that, closer to that plant. And I, I would have a little spot where I can wipe my brush. Might be a little bit murkier than that color. So that's how I get the colors. Oh, and I, I didn't show you, this is my absolute favorite tool. This is an aqua brush. So the lid goes on there and then inside here, it's like a little bottle to put the water in. So you just fill it up. It's much easier than taking around a jar of water if you're going out and about. Much darker green there. So you get the idea of why you need a waterproof ink. So that's a watercolour. And then the other thing that I often use rather than this, I would use watercolour pencils to do the same sort of thing. And I'll just show you how I love mixing those colours together. good for the leaf and I, I normally keep them in my hand ready to go I'm not very good for, at being someone who's sharing my pencils I definitely like having my own pack and then I would use my brush and that would smooth out the colors and again I'd have somewhere to wipe it it's often on my boot if I'm out and about or even my knee or my hand so you can see you get a very similar effect to the watercolours. And another thing I love using, which is a lot simpler and very bold, is um, I've got an art line pen. And I might draw the same part. This as simply as I can. So I'm really simplifying that. And then with these uh, zoom crayons, which you don't need to sharpen at all, which is fantastic, what I like is to mix the colours same thing just to try and match those colors so and you can you can end up pressing really hard with them so this is just a starting point of what I'm going to be showing you my idea for today something you might like to do but you might just like to stick with doing some nature drawing or you might like to extend it so what I'm going to do today is extend it into some other ideas so things that you might like to have in your room and um, around your home space so I've made a little book and I'm going to show you how to do that. And I've also made um, clear the depths to that. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen, but above doorways sometimes, especially Indian style, they might have lots of these little triangles to decorate the area. So this is an old uh, rice milk container so if you happen to have any of them or maybe some fabric cardboard whatever you have so I'm going to fold that in half and I've got my scissors 
and I'll, I'll just cut a triangle and the folds on this side so that's going to be the next one along I, I imagine I'll make at least six of them to go along my doorway and then I'm going to end up gluing that gluing that along there so what I'm going to use for this is my a permanent pen. So I've got an art line pen here. And I will refer to my drawing that I just did. And I love the simplicity of 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 these images. So it started with the courier and you might have all different flowers on each of the, the little flags that you make and I've got to work out where is that going to fit on that flag it's quite nice like that like a love heart and the, the black marker works really well on on this silver very strong too this silver which is great and then I'll use the zoom crayons again and if you can press really hard on them you can get some really good strong colors so it might be a nice thing to have hanging around on your doorway um, maybe in the kitchen or maybe outside in the garden if you've got a garden or a veranda and you see how I'm mixing my colors still and I'm pressing super hard so that's one idea that you might like to do and, and as I said you don't need to use the melt cartons but they are a very good strong thing that you can use so I imagine that could be nice above a doorway a whole bunch of them I might just put some glue in, in under there and the other thing I'm going to show you is how to make a little book I love making my own books when I find the time so I've got another piece of the rice milk, another pack, rice milk packet that I've opened and washed and saved. So I'm just going to fold that in half. And I had some A4 paper and I just cut that in half. So that's, um, of course, if you have some paper that's already been used on one side, it's perfect for making a fully recycled book. So I'm just going to fold that in half and make sure that there's plenty of room for that to go inside my book. Plenty of room. And so I'm just going to cut along here and make it quite a bit bigger than this paper. I'll make it as big as I can. Often when I make these books, I put a little latch on them, so I might actually leave a spot here for a little latch. You might like it for your private journals, or just to keep the book closed so it doesn't open if it's in your bag or something. So there's not a lot of waste going to the recycling there. In fact I might use a little bit of that for my latch and it's also also good to use these bits to just test out whatever pens you might have. I've used some Posca pens on this material too and they work really well. So that might be a nicer latch and also for the latch to go in you might need another bit. So I've got a couple of extra bits on hand. 
that latch might not be no, it could be alright. So I'll cut this one off. And I might see if I can shape that a bit to be a nicer latch. So then, the next thing I've found some um, string that I've I've used I've had from I don't know what even it came from, and you may like to stick something on the inside. I quite like leaving it like that so that I remember that this comes from just something that was going to go into the recycle bin. So I've got three there. Just fit. I've learnt quite a lot of knots, and you'll find a lot of different knots online, but there's only a tiny bit left there, you know, it's just enough. So you can see how quick and easy that is. And then inside, I've already got three lots of string. I can I can make more lots if I want. And that's gonna go sit in there. And then I might have another lot that I fold into this one, this one, and then I could just keep adding more and more string. If I want to make this book a bit more sturdy, um, I can use some tape. I've got some tape here to put along the inside or, or the outside of it. I, I find this string quite pretty, so I'm not going to do it with this one. But I'll use a bit of this tape for the latch. So the latch is going to go here. make it a little bit narrower and then and then the latch is going to go under there so I'm just going to tape these with the nice red that matches the string cut myself a couple of bits And this is a really strong gaffer tape. If you don't have a strong tape, you may want to try sewing it. Or I'm not sure that the glue glue would work. And I could always make a longer latch and tape it on the other side. And so that latch will go in there. Keep my book closed. And then on the front, I was thinking I was going to draw one of those um, plants just like this. So have a go yourselves. And I'll just show you a couple of the other books that I have made using that technique, apart from the Indian Diary. Uh, this one I actually ended up using my sewing machine on and, and using some really nice um, fabrics that I'd collected and I've put the silver on the inside where I can see it and the uh, packaging label on the outside under the fabric and you can see I can put in lots and lots of layers and I've used this book many times it's well loved that's an old necktie Old, old materials, some from the op shop, and then I've got a really big one here that you're not going to see. It's actually made of four packets, and then inside this one I keep um, all these plastic binders with a bit of ribbon. And it's very sturdy, and I've had it for many years. So um, it's a great way to use your uh, packaging. And it's also a great way to be inspired by um, something from the garden or something from somewhere else that you've seen. So enjoy and have a go. Bye.